Welcome to Bootstrap Session again, you beautiful people. Today I'll be showing you how to install Anaconda, Jupyter Lab, and Jupyter Notebook in Android mobile within offline mode so that you don't have to connect to the internet while using the Anaconda. Okay, so go to the Play Store and install PyDroid 3. Okay, this one right there. Click on install it. After installing this, click on IIEC. You can see under the Python. And in here, install the second one, PyDroid repository plugin. Okay, this is 106 MB. Install it. Go back and install this too, PyDroid permission plugin. Okay, it will automatically install after this has installed. And they all have installed right there. Now you have to install a browser named VIA via. Okay, this one, third one. We are installing this browser because it's battery friendly and you won't have that much battery drain when you are using an account okay now after this open up this pydroid 3 okay it's installing python click on not interested and we have just successfully got installed python 99 percent and here it is so now after this go to these three dots and go to pip and click on quick install and here you have to just install jupyter right there okay click on install it click on allow and it will download the files from the internet and here you can see that it's getting installed just a little bit left and it's showing it's complete okay now it has installed a lot of packages in there now go to quick install again and here you can install any one of these or all of them numpy matplotlib and all packages are right there okay so i just want to show you how to install jupyter so you can install these additional packages if you want just click on install and they will automatically install them now just go back if you want to install just install them and after that just click on terminal from here and here just type pip space install space jupyter lab okay and press enter now it's collecting jupyter lab and it's being downloaded and here you can see that it's installing jupyter lab okay so it has got successfully installed jupyter lab one more thing you have to do is just update the pip okay so just type pip as the command here you can see pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade space pip and press enter now it will also update your pip which is used to install the jupyter lab so now we have successfully installed jupyter lab in there we are installing Jupyter Lab because it allows us to automatically save. That's an auto save feature in Jupyter Lab. That's why. Just type Jupyter Lab with the space, Jupyter space lab, okay, and press enter. Now here you can see that it's running the Jupyter Lab, okay. So we have just got successfully run it and just click on just once. And we have this Jupyter notebook right running here. Let me zoom in. I have done a desktop site. So let me just untick this desktop site and here you can see that we have all the files there just click on it and we can also just get a new notebook python 3 and here let me show you by running it 3 star 7 and you can just click on this option to run it or you can just shift plus enter to run the command okay and let me just disconnect the internet also and now let me show you by running the commands and you can see shift plus enter that it is still running in offline mode now after that just go to the file and click on shut down when you're finished it's automatically saving the files click on shut down and click on it click on leave now the server is successfully shut down now go to the spy droid 3 and here you can see that it's has been shut down now type exit press enter type once more exit press enter and here you can see that the program has finished click on back and now you have successfully got out of it so in this way you can run jupyter lab jupyter notebook anything in your android mobile without root okay please subscribe to support us and that's it for now thank you for watching now it's time to discover more simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more